can continue competing against horses. You may remember we told you that there was going to be a vote on excluding the animals from dressage competitions around the world. But Christy McLean, who rode to fame on a mule called Wallace, set up a petition and now that vote's been cancelled. Here's Lee Madden. Can I have your votes? The stage was set for an international showdown in Moscow. 134 countries, each with a vote, to decide if mules would be banned from taking part in equestrian sports like dressage. Back home in Gloucestershire, Wallace the Mule's former trainer fought back. It is a little bit eerist. They shouldn't be being picked on because they've got enormous ears and the dad's a donkey. Christy McLean's online petition to keep mules competing gathered more than 21 and a half thousand signatures. Now the news next month's vote has been cancelled and mules can stay in the sport. You've effectively helped change rules around the world. Right? How does that feel? <laughs> a little bit weird. <laughs> it's amazing. Mules now can go or can carry on doing the same as horses without any judgmental comments. Some critics believe the vote would have been a form of equine racism. There is really no reason to use such a strong word as racism in this. And I think the only thing we can do now is to wish Christy and Wallace the best of success for the future career. Careers that can now continue thanks to global support being mobilized for mules right here in Gloucestershire. Lee Madden, BBC Points West, Dursley. Now a